Got the fan. Show you. Got myself. Go ahead. How many of you have seen a wiggle butt with stumpy legs and ears fitted in radars? Definitely. <laughs> I'm talking about a very adorable and crazy dog breed called the Corgi. I've been a proud Corgi owner for over two years now. I was first introduced to the Corgi breed, like so many others, through the internet. Once I finally met a Corgi in person, I became absolutely obsessed. I knew the Corgi was the perfect dog breed for me. By the end of this presentation, you too may feel the same way. So what else is there to know? The breed. They're actually called Welsh Corgis, not just Corgis. And there's two different breeds. You have the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, which is the more well-known, and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. So what's the differences? You've got a lot of differences between them. Their ears are slightly different. The cardigans got more rounded tips and they're slightly bigger. Um, their colors can vary between, between them. Their tails, the uh, Pembroke has a docked tail or it's born with just a nub, which gives you the iconic corgi nub. Mm -hmm. Whereas cardigans have the long flowy tails unless they're docked like our our corgi is mm -hmm. and their personalities are a little bit different pembrokes are more friendly and outgoing whereas cardigans are more like they're friendly but they're more reserved when it comes to strangers and you get the different color variations so they don't just come in this red and white color and then the blue marl color there's tons of variations in their coloration welsh corgi history and cardigan welsh corgis were the first breed that originated in wales the earliest documentation of corgis in Wales was around 1127 AD. Uh, the Pembroke cor Welsh Corgi, the more popular breed, originated in Pembrokeshire, Wales, which is where they get their name. Mm -hmm. Welsh Corgis were used as herding dogs and are one of the smallest dog breeds in the herding group. Their sizes. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are slightly smaller. They weigh anywhere from 24 to 31 pounds, whereas cardigans weigh anywhere from 24 to 38 pounds. <laughs> Pembrokes have a smaller stature while uh, the cardigans have like bigger bones. They're more stuffed. So, you have the typical price of a full bred Welsh corgi. It can range anywhere from $800 to $3,000, which was way out of my price range. Mm -hmm. So, we looked for corgi mixes and we got very lucky. We have Selby, our corgi dachshund and suspected border collie mix. And Kylan, he's a mix of the two different breeds of corgi. So he's his dad was full Pembroke and his mom is full Cardigan. So then you have the the corgi traits. Corgis are very vocal dog breeds. They will bark at anything that moves. They will howl. They they'll grumble under their breath. They'll growl. They'll talk back at you. They're extremely extremely vocal. They're also very stubborn. Corgis will not do something if they don't want to do it, or they'll do it in their own time. Um, if they will stop in the middle of the street and they will dead wait so that you can't move them. <laughs> they also love to bite and lick everything. I mean, they were made to be hurting dogs, so they'll nip at your heels, they'll follow you around, they're constantly underfoot, and they'll never leave you alone. And they'll lick, they'll lick everything. Not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> They're also very intelligent. If a corgi doesn't want to do something, they either won't do it or they'll do it in their own time. They're more like individuals, which like I think they're more like children, rather than just being an obedient dog. They're also very hyperactive dogs because they were hurting dogs, that's what they were bred for. They need a lot of mental and physical stimulation. They need to be outside, they need to be running, they need to be learning new things. Um, they're also very impatient, so when you're training a corgi, you have to be like very aware of how they're feeling because Selty learned how to spin in 10 minutes, but if she, you try to teach her to roll over, she'll get really frustrated really fast because she is just getting so impatient with herself because she can't figure it out. So you have to give them lots and lots of breaks. Um, corgis also have the typical sploot, or we call it in our house the sploot, where they throw both legs out behind them, and that's because their legs are super short, so that's how they lay, it's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Some other common traits you might associate with corgis, butt tufts, mm -hmm. <laughs> wiggling butts, mm -hmm. huge ears, and short stumpy legs. But really, there's so much more to them than just those things. Now you've got the corgi personality. Corgis have very strong personalities. Like I stated earlier, they're like little individuals. And their personality develops early, early on. 
Although we own two Corgi mixes, they both have completely different personalities and they're both two completely different dogs. They are definitely not anywhere close to being the same. Every dog's different. So just like with any puppy, you're going to have some challenges. So with Corgi especially, experience with one dog will not be the same as your experience with another. Selty was very, very hard to potty train. She didn't want to get potty trained for over a year. Kylan, on the other hand, is almost potty trained and he's almost eight months. Um, Selty loves learning. She's very fast at learning. Kylan likes learning if it's not in the house. <laughs> so you just get the different personalities. Selty's always been a really hyper crazy dog, whereas Kylan has always been really, really calm and really chill. <laughs> children. They act out when they don't get their way. And they talk back to you, like Kylan's doing right now. There's no such thing as peace and quiet in your house. And they're constantly in So in conclusion, Welsh Corgis have a unique history. They're originally bred in Wales for herding sheep, goats, and ducks. Corgis have several traits that set them apart from other dog breeds. They're very vocal and will bark at anything that moves. <laughs> they are very intelligent, they bite and lick anything they get their mouths on, and they're very stubborn. Corgi personalities are very strong and develop at a very early age, and all corgis are different. Aww, they're cute. <laughs> if you're wanting your typical American family dog that obeys your every whim and doesn't bark at the near blowing of leaves, the Welsh Corgi will not be the breed for you. <laughs> In here. If you're wanting a dog to challenge you, engage you, bring loud, <laughs> and overall be better cuteness, the Welsh Corgi may be a good thing for you.